everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel. Bet you didn't know facts. And we have a new video today. Uh, and these are 20 things whose purpose you didn't know. And I found a bunch of these quite interesting because I had no clue. So, uh, if you've seen my videos before, thanks for coming back. If you, this is your first time here, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button uh, so I can grow my channel. Um, excuse my background. We're working on it. We're working on a new studio. <gasps> yeah. Anyway, that's a long story, so we're not getting into that. Oh, I'm all blurry. So we're going to do this thing, <clears throat> and maybe it's going to get better as we go along. So please stay with me, and we'll just get better. My eyes. Okay. Okay. So I'm sure we're going to have an interruption. I know we are. I can just feel it. Last time it was the husband. The next one will be the daughter. You might be taking a nap, so I won't be here. So, I have to go to work in a little bit. 9 to 5, 9 to 5, well, 4 to 12, 4 to 12. So, let's do this. Because these are, I love these things. And I got a bunch more to do, so. 12 things whose trip, did I tell you who I was? Brenda loved it. Yeah, that's me. Thanks for being here. Okay, 12 things whose purpose you didn't know. Because I sure didn't know. Number one, bet you didn't know what they were for. The stickers on fruit. Have you seen the stickers on fruit? They have a purpose, actually. They mark the country and the producer. But the numbers on the stickers are actually for... If there's, a, if there's, the, if there's four numbers... I'm going to get this out here. Four numbers. The first number... And if the first number is a four, it means that the fruit has been... Has been... Has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five numbers and the first number is a nine, the fruit has been grown organically. If there are five numbers and the first number is eight, the fruit has been genetically modified. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That's quite, that's a cool thing. Okay, bet you didn't know what the purpose was. Back. Number two, the donut hole. Who cares? I love donuts. One of the most popular eating snacks and it's consumed in most all cities and is a hundred years old. The confectioners of today can make the fabulous pastries in any size and shape but in the past it was hard to get the edges and the center equally baked. So bakers got smarter and came up with this shape. That made it easier and voila problem solved. Donut hope. I like the donut house. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I, just, I don't care. I just like donuts, period. Especially if they're chocolate. Alright. Bet you didn't know the purpose number three. The fruit, the frit band and dots. My interruption's fixing to come. What is the frit band, you say? Hmm? Do you know what that is? Do you know what a frit band is? <laughs> if I could say it right... This is the black band that runs along the edges of a windshield. <clears throat> You've seen that, right? It is a ceramic paint that is baked in and has several functions. First, it's protection for, for the urethane sealant that holds the glass in. Mm -hmm. It keeps in, holds it in place from the ultraviolet rays. Secondly, it hides the dirt that forms just along the edges of the glass. But the dots, they provide a pleasing visual that transitions from the black frit band to the transparent glass and also creates an even temperature during the production of the windshields. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Frit bands. Now, sunglasses. This number four. This is, bet you didn't know the purpose number four. Now, we've talked about the sunglasses before, so here's an extra part of that. These sunglasses are not just to protect the eyes from the sun, but the dark glasses were invented by the Arctic people to protect their eyes from dazzling snow, snow blindness. Mm -hmm. You heard of snow blind? That's where that comes from. And this part is the part you already knew about because I told you. 
They also became widespread by the Chinese judges to help hide their emotions from witnesses. So there's another there's another ad on there. Bet you didn't know the purpose number five. The notebook margins. Oh, I was gonna show you one, but I don't have one at this moment. I don't have none. You know the little where the margins are on the notebooks. You know where I'm talking about. They're not exactly for teachers to write the bad notes in red when you do bad. But therefore, because books are old, the books of old, and they were old, were often victims of my favorite thing, mice and rats, who love to gnaw on paper. So to keep them from eating the information along with the paper, they flipped, they flavored, they favored, people began to leave empty spaces at the edges where the most damage occurs. So you can eat that. Don't you go past this line. Isn't that cool? Hmm. Bet you didn't know the purpose number six. Dimples on a golf ball. You know what those are for? Guys, do you know what those are for? In the beginning, golf balls were completely smooth. They were just smooth. Then the golfers figured out by trial and error that the best balls were old, scuffed, and cracked. So they kept using the old ones for years. This was finally noticed by the manufacturers, and they started to produce artificially aged and dimpled balls. And that's what those are for, the dimples. Because they are better when they have dimples and cracks in it. I'm not a golfer, but I would ask my dad, Dad, what do you think? But he was a golfer. Now, the, number seven, bet you didn't know the purpose. Half belts. You know what those are? It's the little piece of leather or cloth that are on the backs of many coats or jackets. Have you seen them? That first showed up on the military's great coats many centuries ago. During that time, the great coats were, were very wide and were made with pieces of cloth. At night, the half belts could be unstrapped and the coat could be used as a blanket. Multi purposes now. Mm -hmm. So now we can use our coats as a blanket. Okay, let's see if I got that. Oh no, I gave it back. I don't know if I gave it back. Because that was one of my favorite things. I don't know where it is, but I don't have it. Ah, shoot, I should have located it, but things are in a disarray right now. Holes and padlocks. Do you know what those are for? Padlocks are used to lock gates and doors outside, but they soon quit working when they stayed out in the rain too long because they rusted and stopped working. Most people just go buy a new lock. Not many people know that the small hole in the bottom actually has a purpose. It is a place where you can pour engine oil inside. And when you do this, the key will turn in the lock without any problem. So don't waste your money. Just pour some oil in there, man. That was pretty cool. What do you think? Bet you didn't know the purpose number nine. Stripes on headphone jacks. Okay, let me stay there. I got some headphones somewhere. Disarray. <laughs> okay, so I got some headphone jacks. Here's my headphones. My headphones. And here is the jack. Do you see them? Okay. The straps on the headphone jacks. There's two or three straps on headphone jacks. Each stripe has wires going to both headphones from each one. And if they were not there, you would only hear sound coming from one of the headphones. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I think that's pretty cool. That's why I love facts. Because I never know any facts. And that's why. Because that's what they're for. And now you know. Now, number 10. Bet you didn't know purpose. The rigid edges of coins. And I, I want to spit it in my wallet. Because he just gave me 15 cents. The rigid edges of coins. Back in the 16th century, when times were very hard, people would cut small amounts off of the precious metals from coins and sell them. They would then pass the bad damaged coins at their full value. They were cheating. So to stop this, a new practice started. It was called reading. Reading. It was made from made from carving a series of grooves around the outer edges of coins. So it was easily detected if a coin had been tampered with. So look for your your damaged coins. Okay. Now, this one's an interesting one. Number 11. 
you didn't know the purpose. Nail cuticles, and mine are crappy, so they're there. They are the hard layer of skin at the base of a nail that I'm always messing with. Most of us cut it off when we get a manicure, but that is actually the wrong thing to do. This tiny skin has a purpose. That's a huge one, too. It is there to protect the nails from infections, and if you remove this skin, your nail is left open to exposure with a small wound. That leaves the door open for bacteria and fungus to creep their way on in. So cutting your cuticles actually harms more than benefits your nails. Just keep that in mind, ladies. And I need a manicure. Okay. Now, bet you didn't know the purpose. Number 12. I forgot where I was. 12. The R symbol. You've seen those on the... Let me see if I got one on here. And you know they have one somewhere. I don't know where. Yep, there it is. Can you see it? The R symbol is up in there. Right in there. Yep, yeah, R symbol. The R symbol on bangs. Some people know. You will find this around some trademarks. And it ha it means the preceding trademarks is officially registered with the U.S. Patent Office. Trademark office. It gives the owner the right to use R, the R, on their products and the right to sue people who tries to infringe on the trademark. So if you see that, don't be trying to infringe. That's their trademark, okay? That has been trademarked. Leave it alone. Bet you didn't know the purpose, number 13. The utility knife. Mm, I see. Utility knife. Possibly, because I'm the knife queen. I got knives everywhere. Uh, I like knives better. I'm not a gun person, but I am a knife person. So is my grandson. I, well, there's one here somewhere, but get out of the way. Let's see if I have an Okay, maybe. Maybe that's right. Okay. I think maybe that's one sort of like, mm hmm Can we see it? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, easily sharpen a utility knife. And take off the end cap. Oh, wait a minute. This may not be one of those. End cap and break the blunt blade off with the lid. That's not what it is. With the lid. You can use the slider to bring the sharpened blade to the front. Well, if my husband was not busy, we would get him to show me how the heck to do this. And now I've done it again. I open it. And, oh, I close it. Yay. I can never close them once I open them. Anyway, that's not what that is. <laughs> it's one of those other ones that you... Mm -hmm. Did you know that? You can easily sharpen the utility knife and take off the end cap and break the blunt blade off with the lid. Use the slider to bring the sharpened blade to the front. Choo, choo. Isn't that cool? Guys, did you know that? Okay, didn't know the purpose. Number 14. Oven knobs. If we were in my kitchen, I could show you this. You can adjust your oven knobs to keep from burning all of your pizzas. To adjust, you set the temperature to 300 degrees, test it with accurate oven thermometer, pull off the oven's knob, and look at the back of it. It should have a set of screws you can loosen to adjust the face of the knob. Make the appropriate adjustment, and you should be good to go. Check it out sometime today. Okay guys, bet you didn't know the purpose number 15. Those little buttons on your jeans. They're actually called rivets, and they play a pretty big role. They are placed in the most used area of the jeans that get the most wear and tear stress. They keep your jeans from pulling apart at the seams. Wow. Where so they get the most, most wear. Hmm. Have you ever thought about that? I just thought they were there for looks, I guess. So, bet you didn't know the purpose number 16. The arrow on the gas gauge. Now, I just learned this mm, a few years ago. Because I would be driving around and around the pump because I was always on the wrong side. The little arrow down by the gas gauge, there's an arrow and it points to the side the gas tank is on. People, did we know that? No, but I know now. So you don't have to drive around and around the pump like a goofball. That'd be me. Okay. Now, did you know? The purpose of number 17, the marks between your tire threads. I had no clue. This is the minimum height of the th treads. Threads. The treads. If it gets past that point, the wheel isn't safe to drive on. 
There are little marks. I'm going to go look at that. You need to go look at that, ladies, and see if you know. Okay, bet you didn't know the purpose, number 18. That little bit of metal at the end of your measuring tape. I'm so not prepared. It's a, This is an important piece for drywall installation. The serrated edge lets you be able to score on the softer surfaces in case you need to mark the measurement without a pencil. Now that's cool, huh? Because we are all doing some drywall insulation. But no, I didn't know what it was for, so isn't that a cool thing? You know? Okay, bet you didn't know the purpose number 19. The little holes in the airplane windows. You know what that's for? To poke things out. No. There's two reasons. One is to compensate for the massive air pressure difference as the plane is climbing in altitude. And the second is to prevent the windows from fogging. I thought it was to stick things out of. I don't know. So you can breathe. I don't know. And number 20 you didn't know the purpose of. The hole in the cap let me see if I got one of those. I don't know if I got one of those. I used to have one of those. I used to do. Actually, I picked my teeth. Well, I did all kinds of with it. I used to use a pen cap. A pen cap, I probably don't have one of those kind. And I have a mini pen. Let's see. This one don't have it in it. An actual, probably a big pen or something. The hole in the cap is a pen. Nope. Okay. But there's a hole in there, down there. And you know what it's for? Mm. This was a very interesting thing to me because I didn't know. Pin's hole doesn't keep the pin from drying out, but it does provide a key safety feature because so many people chew on the caps like me with their teeth and they accidentally inhale the pin cap. The hole allows the person to keep breathing until medical attention can arrive. Isn't that a truly cool trip? I mean, tip that you didn't know. I didn't know that. So I thought these were pretty interesting. What do you think? Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about that. Isn't that pretty cool? And so that is our 20 things whose true purpose you didn't know. So, uh, see you next time when who knows what we'll be finding facts about. But please subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next video.